Zach. Patriots face one of their toughest tests here for the rest of the season in week 10 as they face the Seahawks. But not every area for the Seahawks is a strength. They certainly have some weaknesses, some flaws. We saw that in week nine as they face the Buffalo Bills. And one of those areas of weakness is certainly their offensive line. How do you think the Patriots can kind of take advantage of that weakness? Well, I want to see if this matchup can kind of bolster the Patriots' pass rush, which really has been kind of non-existent all season. Some of that's game plan-wise. Some of that's uh, just based on matchups. But this offensive line is not great. <laughs> the, the Seahawks starting left tackle on, uh, in their Sunday night game or Monday night game against the Bills, excuse me, was a guy who hasn't started a game since eighth grade. So really, that's, that's, and that's a left tackle. That's the most important position on your, on your offensive line. So that really tells you how, how real lean they are at that position right now. And the, with, with that struggles on the offensive line, they haven't been able to run the ball well at all. I think this is going to be a big, uh, big Russell Wilson game. He's really going to have to carry that team. Yeah, and Wilson is a little bit banged up right now. He looked healthier there against the Bills, but still doesn't look up to full speed. So while usually the Patriots could kind of, would have to hang back and keep a spy on Russell Wilson, maybe not pin their ears back and rush him, if he's still showing that that knee is bothering him, I think they could actually pressure Wilson and get some sacks in this game. Uh, moving on to the Seahawks defense, obviously they've got talented players all across the board, but uh, Patriots fans aren't a big fan of, uh, of Richard Sherman there at cornerback. How do you see Sherman kind of lining up against the Patriots here? Well, the thing with Sherman throughout his career, he's really been a one side of the field kind of cornerback. We do see him move around a little bit. He did move. He did switch uh, switch back and forth a, a little bit against the Bills. But really, he's a one side of the field kind of guy, which really lets the offense kind of dictate their matchups with him. They can they can determine who they want going up against Sherman. And, I mean, when we saw it in the Super Bowl, they just completely stayed away from him almost the entire yeah. game. I believe he was only targeted here. Receivers he was covering were only targeted once. Yeah. So he's on the side of the field they don't want to attack. Yeah, and there's not really an obvious matchup on the Patriots team for Sherman. I don't think he's going to cover Gronk for mm -hmm. the entire game. That would be a very tough challenge for Sherman. Julian Edelman, not exactly the type of player that Sherman usually covers. Chris Hogan, maybe not good enough for Sherman to shadow. So I think that Sherman does stay on one side of the field. And that really is kind of an advantage for the Patriots because then they do get to throw a guy on Sherman and say, hey, waste your time against this guy. In the past, it's been James <laughs> Devlin when they've done that. We'll see who it is in this game, but uh, that's certainly not the worst thing in the world for the Patriots.